and we sent a message that our grassroots army, filling field offices and labor halls all across this great state, will not let big money outside groups stop us from winning back this Senate seat. <laughs> my campaign staff and volunteers for all of their tireless work. You may be losing your voices after weeks of talking to voters, but the message you've delivered is unmistakable. Thank you also to Senator Durbin for all of your support and encouragement through the years. None of this would have been possible if you hadn't shown me a new way to serve my country after I sustained my injuries, and I'm so grateful. And of course, Thank you to my family, my husband Brian, my mom and my brother, and my daughter Abigail, who you just all met. <laughs> this is past her bedtime, but she's still up. That's all right. <laughs> a little while ago, I spoke with Andy, and she was very gracious. And I really appreciate what both she and Napoleon did to bring to the campaign trail. Our campaign, our campaign wants their help going forward, and we will all be the stronger for it. Today, what's most important is that Illinois Democrats are working together to beat Mark Kirk. Woo! Yeah. To drive Mitch McConnell of another vote and to take back the Senate. Woo! We sent a loud and clear message tonight. We reject the politics of fear and division that have no place in Illinois. We're Americans. We believe in this country. And we are going to lead through strength and not fear. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's a message that's lost on Mark Kirk. He's been running attack ads for months. And just last week, he said that, and I quote, he certainly would support Donald Trump in the yeah. fall. Yeah. It's not all that surprising. He has long embraced Trump's brand of divisive rhetoric and fear-mongering, and now he's embracing Donald Trump himself. Well, those aren't our values. Those are not Illinois' values. So it's such an honor to be the Democratic Party's nominee to take on Mark Kirk. And everyone who has a part in this campaign should feel pride tonight. But tonight, I also want to say a few words about some people who aren't celebrating. Tonight, a recently laid off worker in Granite City is not sure what to tell his family. Unfair trade policies, unchecked dumping of Chinese steel and currency manipulation have taken their toll. And the job security and he wants to for granted is gone. He's wondering if the years of service and his deep pride in the Made in America label means anything anymore. Tonight, a young girl in Chicago is studying and dreaming about being the first person in her family to go to college.